So your buddy emails you and is like, hey, can you animate my logo? And you're like, sure, I can do that. And you start playing with keyframes, you start doing the thing, and you know what? It just, it doesn't look right. It doesn't feel like. Likely, you're not using the graph editor. And if you're like me, you kind of avoided it for a long time. So I'm gonna try and explain the graph editor in less than two minutes so that you can make your animation look pretty. So let's dive right into After Effects and show you how to use the thing to do the thing. All right, so let's uh, throw two minutes on the clock and get started. In After Effects, you can animate all kinds of properties with the graph editor position, scale, rotation, etc. You can achieve all different kinds of looks. Let's take a look at what we have here. Makes sense. So all these objects are moving from point A, the same position in the beginning, to point B, which is also the same ending position. And all this is achieved with a very different look demonstrated by the graph editor. Let's click this guy, which brings us into the graph linear. So on the X axis of this graph editor, we have our time. So that could be time as in time or frames, which also gets translated to time for video. And then on the Y axis, you have value. So between these keyframes, the value, the X position is assuming a different value over time. If we click on the E's, or if you were to select those keyframes and hit F9, you would get a slightly different curve. The way you read this is steepness equals speed. The steeper the point on the graph, the faster the animation will be. This can be demonstrated by this more exaggerated super E. So this point right here in the very center is very, very steep. So this object is moving very, very quickly and then slowing down in the end. And likewise, we can invert this by playing with these handles, which will be just changing these handles from a horizontal to a vertical position. And then we can see that it's going to explode out from the beginning, slow down in the center, and then slam into the end position. Let's just undo that really quick. And we can see that I already have this demonstrated here. So you can achieve all different kinds of looks with the graph editor. So let's recap really quick. On the x-axis, you have time. On the y-axis, you have value. And you can achieve different looks by playing with these handles. Let's demonstrate this really quick. Let's go into this example comp. Super ease, which we already have. We can see that over the frames, two second animation, 24 frames times two is 48 frames. 48 frames later, we're gonna have a different look. So we start off super slow based on the steepness of the graph. Then it gets steeper and steeper in the center and then slows down and really eases into that end. We can see this on this second effect here where each frame accounted for is very bunched up. So there's not a lot of spacing in between, but then once we get to that really fast portion, it's sort of tricking the brain into thinking, hey, this is moving really fast. When in reality, it's just a bunch of pictures all set in a sequence so that you get this animation. So I hope that makes sense. Remember, steepness equals speed, x-axis of the graph editor, which is this button, you have time, and the y-axis, you have your value. We'll talk about the speed graph in another video, but I hope this video was helpful. If it was, let me know in the comment section down below. I hope that this will help your animations look a little bit more lively, and don't just hit F9, because like F9 looks good, but you can make it look better. So anyways, my name is John Jackson. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you beautiful people in the next video. I hope I stayed under two minutes. We'll see. And uh, yeah, thank you for also not, uh... yeah, and thank you for appreciating that I don't have any cutaways on this tutorial. My camera is in the shop, sad face, but hopefully we'll get that back soon. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.